Oh, hey. Today we're here to see all the funniest things that, I'm, that I've ever done on Legend of Zelda. For now, let's just do these lines. Mm-hmm. Five arrows. Ah, oh, classic. <laughs> Next one. I think I know what this one is. I'm just, I'm just shooting them. Okay, let's see what this one is. Just take a moment to look at the sadness on Link's face as he falls into the void with the Moblin. Wow. What's gonna happen here? So I chased them, and what's going to happen next? What's next? Hey man, don't hit Link. Of high wool. Let's do this. Good one. Just look at the moment. When Link got owned, just watch. Mm -mm. Just take a moment to look at that. Just look at what, look at how Link eats that. Just watch. My your man is Link. What crazy thing is going to happen in this one? How did I even die? Just 
just take a moment to wonder how the flip did I die? Just watch. I go up the hill, nice and safe. I'm fighting it, then it kicks me. And I have a quarter of a heart left. As you can plainly see, I have a quarter of a heart left. And then, when I reach the ground, for some reason, that heart disappears. How is that even possible? Oh, I love that. When you're attacking one of those. And then, simply, they just fall into the void. Don't you just love that? Link just went straight into battle there. He's like, yeah, don't attack me. You can't fight. Then he goes up here. Yeah, you can't fight. Gets hit. And then, what even killed him? What even killed him? What killed him? It was crazy. What killed him? A stone was dropped on his head. Stone, head, stone, head, stone, head. Connect the dots, Link. Wait a second. That wasn't even what killed him. That wasn't what killed him. Wait a second. He was alive after the stone was dropped on its head. And what really killed him? Okay, I just want to show you something crazy. Watch. I go up, a spiked moblin spear flies out of the, out of the sky. He throws a stone at me, and it lands on my... Watch. He hits me in the head with... Watch. I go up, knock this guy out. He hits me in the head with a stone... Then throws it, and somehow it goes like a boomerang and lands right on my head. You have you? Did you see, even see that? Watch. Do you see that? Do you see it now? How I died? Just watch. Watch what I do. I pale glide up. Normal. Then this then they notice me. I hit him so many times. 
Then Did you see Did you see that? Watch, watch, watch. The Bacoblin hits me. Then this guy Watch. Just watch. It's like this. It's right here. It's right here. It's right here. This guy decides to be a maniac, spins his sword around in the air, and stabs it through me. Just look, that is the sword. Don't you see it? Watch, watch. Everybody. Right now, go to the three dots at the top right corner of your screen. Put the playback to 0.25 and watch this craziness. this. He's just rolling down the hill. Watch. Wait, before this happens, now I want you to put your playback speed to point, I mean not point, to two times. So twice its normal speed and watch this battle. I paraglide down behind him, then go up in front of him, hit him twice, and he falls off the cliff to his doom. Watch this, watch this. I hit him. I hit him. Watch. I hit him. He bangs his head on... Just just listen to this craziness. I slap him. He goes like this. Then I hit him again. And he goes flying. He hits his head on the side of that wooden dock thingy. And falls to his death. Take a moment to think about how idiotic Link is to even do this. Watch, watch. He hits a TNT barrel, explodes himself. Take a moment to look at his hearts. He has one heart left. And then do you know what he decides to do? Hit a barrel with a flaming club. Now listen, you might be thinking, Raiden, yeah, he's hitting a barrel with a flaming club, but it's a normal barrel, it's not a TNT barrel. There is a TNT barrel next to it though. 
If a TNT barrel is touching another barrel and you take a flaming weapon and hit the normal barrel, it'll send that fire to the TNT barrel, exploding it in something like this. So yeah, Zelda logic. What's this? Oh god, that's cold fury. Flip. All of these vids are so far crazy. Okay, I'm setting them on fire. Oh, I know this one. I hated that one. What? Did I just X out of the album? That was stupid. Anyways, I the ones that end in a game over, I really hate them. did it. Wait, 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 wait. You have to see that move I did to kill him. Watch this move. Watch this finishing move. I went, I ducked, dodged his attack, and then swept my spiked Boko Club under him, finishing him off as a fire arrow sniped me in the head. Watch. I do my finishing move just as a fire arrow snipes me in the head. That is crazy. And now I only have, I don't even know how many hearts I have. It's crazy. Oh, here's the finishing attack. How is that even possible? Look. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. That's unfair. Watch. I duck. And then, all of a sudden, I get up and get shot. How many times have I exited out of there? It's time for this one. That's, that's a picture. That stupid walk. I was, I was doing a mad dash away from that Bokoblin because I knew it would one hit me. I'm looking at the Bokoblin instead of my surroundings. And then that happens. In Zelda, always look in front of you when you're in pursuit. Always look in front of you. More Zelda logic. And more attacks. Whoa. How did I dodge those?
<laughs> I love the ones where they end up falling off the cliff. Those are the funniest ones. Two rows left. Always use your shields. Always use your shields. Because when you use your shields, nothing can, nothing, no sword can hit you until your shield broke, until your shield breaks. When you have a shield, no sword can hit you. None. Master Sword, Savage Lionel Sword, even though a Savage Lionel Sword would probably break the shield in one hit. If it was anything worse than a soldier sword, I mean a soldier shield, so. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Come on, why are all my shots missing? Hey daddy. Yeah. Did you know the new rule is you have to have a thousand subscribers to do live streams? I'm so mad about that. Mm. That wasn't that good. Oh, wait, I remember this one. Okay, this is when I finally make it past all the dangers, and I'm up at the next level. So, um... Yeah, once I'm up here, I go like this, and I climb up under the top. And then get sniped. Oh, yeah, not sniped. Watch, just watch. This is not, this is not getting sniped. He threw me with that club. Watch. He literally threw me into the air. That's how powerful marbling clubs are. Oh yeah, that's when I tried to shoot a bird, but the arrow ended up falling from the sky like a shooting star. See that thing right there? That's an arrow falling from the sky like a shooting star. Oh yeah, 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 this is... I just ran past every single danger. How did I dodge that? How did I dodge that watch? It went straight for me. Did like, did, wait. I just had a crazy Legend of Zelda theory that no one has ever thought about. Can the blast from a weapon breaking, sh wait, this is, this is a breakthrough in Legend of Zelda history. Are you ready to hear this? Crazy theory. Can the blast of a weapon breaking Work as a shield against arrows and fire arrows and other arrows. I do not actually know. But seriously, look. Look at that. My traveler's bow breaks and I don't even take damage. Watch my hearts. Watch my hearts when that happens. 
Wait, what? What happened? Uh, well, anyways, you, you saw it. My heart didn't even move one bit. Oh, I love this one. It's a two-part one. There's two parts to the video. There, it's it's two videos, but they're all one thing. Watch. This is the first part where I keep shooting this guy with fire arrows until he wait wait falls off a cliff, and then the next one. The next one is this. I go down and do this, but then I fall. Then I go over here, and guess what I see? The same person with the same amount of damage he had before. And so, I want to tell you something crazy. Hostile things, moblins, macoblins, linos, hinox, divine beast, whatever, doesn't take fall damage. Now that's crazy. This has almost reached the 30 minute mark, also. The Rudo Tower, yay! See the next one. Okay. First, before I do this, I have an honorable mention that I didn't put in this video. Are you ready for the honorable mention? And then, oh my god, I get electrocuted. Watch, watch, just watch. How is this even possible? I fall into the water and all of a sudden, it hits me, and I die. That was the one honorable mention. Now we're going back to this video, which is awesome. It's so good. Watch. I get out a... I drop my spiked moblin spear and grab this knight's broadsword. Then I walk over my gone guardian spear. Then I shoot this guy in the face with a fire arrow where he falls off a cliff. Then I head over to this bacoblin and I'm like, get out of my life. One shot him and then get sniped by a fire arrow. Where did that even come from? Just watch, just watch. Oh, it's that guy right there. See, see him, see him. He has his fire robot at the ready, and I'm like, celebrating in the victory. All of a sudden, I get sniped. I was so mad. Okay. Now, that wraps it up for today's video. If 
So you have to. So well, wait. I have to do the normal outro. So make sure to like this video and other videos from this channel. If you, if this is the first video you've watched from this channel, which is crazy, because there's only like probably a. Uh, I don't know, a trillion, maybe, YouTube videos on the planet, and I already have 340 of them. That's a big amount, if you really think about how long some of my videos are. Like this one, 31 minutes and counting, and so if you haven't seen any other videos... And you like this video, make sure to subscribe and see more content from Minecraft, Legend of Zelda, and other stuff. But mostly it's going to be Legend of Zelda these days. Legend of Zelda is my favorite game. And there's a lot of Fortnite content going around. I have other 30-minute videos of Fortnite.